give myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. Lord, as we receive from you the blood of life, we receive with revelation and with understanding. I thank you, Father, for the utterance of your word. I thank you, Father, and I bless your name. Thank you, Father, because as we share this blend, we shall never hunger in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. I want to share a message this morning entitled Power of Dedication. Ama guvu ya kujipeana. Wiki hii kuna jambo ambalo tumeona kwenye runinga na kuna kijana mmoja kama ni kijana ama ni mzee ambaye alikanyanga waya ya stima na baadaye akapata majeraha pia macho yake yakapotea na pia majeraha mengine sababu ni kwamba ile waya ambayo alikanyanga kulikuwa na kitu ndani ya ile waya kulikuwa na nguvu na hiyo nguvu ambayo ilikuwa ndani ya hiyo waya ndio ambayo ilifanya ule mzee aweze kupata majeraha lakini naamini ya kwamba kulikuwa na waya zingine ambazo zilikuwa kwenye barabara na hata maybe even right now kuna waya zingine ambazo zinakuwa kwa barabara na tunazikanyanga lakini hakuna hatari ama jambo lilingine lolote mbaya ambalo tunapata ni kwa sababu hazina nguvu ndani yake people of god there are people who are like live wire kuna watu ambao wanakaa ni kama ile waya ya stima ambayo iko na nguvu ndani yake na kwa hivyo hawa watu wakati ambapo unajaribu kuwakanyanga hawa watu wakati ambapo unajaribu kuwaguza ile jambo ambalo unafanya unaguza a live wire na kwa hivyo u expect ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo inaweza kutokea au watu ambao ni kama live wire au ni watu ambao wame dedicate maisha yao kwa kazi ya Mungu ku dedicate ni kule kujipeana kwa mtu ama kwa jabo fulani ama kwa kazi fulani kwa hivyo hawa watu ni watu ambao wamejitoa ni watu ambao wamejipeana ni watu ambao wamekaa kwa jabo fulani na kwa sababu ya kujipeana kwa sababu ya dedication wakapokea nguvu wakawa na nguvu na sio nguvu ya chakula na sio nguvu ya, ya stima lakini ni nguvu ambayo ni ya kiungu na hiyo ndio the bible inasema kwamba in the book of first corinthians chapter 16 and verse 22 the bible is saying do not touch my anointed ones do my prophet no harm the anointed the anointed mtu ambaye ni anointed kwa sababu ya kazi fulani huyu ni mtu ambaye amejipeana huyu ni mtu ambaye amejitoa huyu ni mtu ambaye amekaa 
kwa jabu furani kwa kazi furani Jesus was anointed and the reason why Jesus was anointed ni kwa sababu alikuwa amejipeana na si kujipeana tu alikuwa amekaa abiding kwa kazi ambayo alikuwa ameitiwa give me message bible the same the same the bible say don't you dare hata usijaribu kwa sababu they are live wire don't you dare touch my anointed one don't lay a hand on my prophet people of god when you dedicate to the work of god you receive the anointing you receive the power ambayo itakusaidia ambayo itakukinga wakati ambapo tunajipeana kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu tuko na ufunuo tunaelewa kujitolea kwetu kujipeana kwetu kwa kazi ya Mungu vile ambavyo Mungu anafanya act 28 no act 10 and verse 38 act 10 and verse 38 uni Yesu Jesus was anointed alikuwa amejitolea kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy spirit and power and how he went around doing good and hearing all who were under the power of devil because god was with him alikuwa amejipeana and people of god it is good to know ya kwamba hata kifo kilijaribu kumguza Yesu lakini pia kifo hakikuweza people of god i want to encourage you today ya kwamba tuwe watu ambao tutajitoa tunaweza kujipeana kwa sababu ya huyu ambaye alituita kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo ni kazi ya Mungu na kuna mambo ambayo hayataweza kutuguza ama kutudhuru tutapata ulinzi na mtu ambaye anaitwa Paul in the book of act 28 kuna mambo ambayo yalijaribu kuguza mwili wake na hivyo anai nao kuna mambo ambayo maybe saa hii inajaribu lakini kwa sababu ya kujipeana kwako kwa kazi ya Mungu hayataweza katika jina la Yesu somebody say amen Act chapter 28 NIV Act 28 verse 1 up to 6 It's also good to know that you cannot be anointed if you are not committed or dedicated to the one who anointed The Bible saying Act 28 verse 1 Once safely on shore we found out that the island was called Malta The islanders show us unusual kindness They built a fire and will come us all because it was raining and cold. Paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he put it on the fire a viper driven out by the heat fastened itself on his hand. When the Irandas saw the snake hanging from his hand they say to each other this man must be a murderer for though he escaped from the sea justice has not around him to live but paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no illness effect The people expected him to swell up or suddenly fall dead but after waiting a long time and seeing nothing unusual happen to him they changed their mind and say he was a god Paul alikuwa amejipeana 
kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu na kuna mambo ambayo yalijaribu kumguza kushikilia mwili wake and the bible say alipoenda pale kuna kuna kuna, kuna nyoka ambayo ilitokea na baadaye ikaguza ama ika, ika, ikaangukia mkono wake na wakati ambapo ilishikilia mkono wake kulikuwa na expectation hii ni kawaida hata saa hii yani mkono wa mtu alafu nyoka ama joka limeshikilia kwenye mkono wa ama kwenye mguu ama kwenye kisigino kuna expectation ya kwamba huyo mtu maybe hiyo nyoka imemuuma anaweza kufa lakini Paul he did an unusual thing happen kuna kitu ambao alifanya he shook off na ile nyoka ikaweza kuanguka people of god what am i saying wakati ambapo tunajitoa wakati ambapo tunajipeana kwa kazi ya Mungu kuna mambo ambayo itajaribu lakini haitaweza katika jina la Yesu nasema kwamba ukijipeana kwa maombi ukijipeana kwa kazi ya huduma kuna mambo ambayo itajaribu lakini haitakuweza katika jina la Yesu unajua hivi na nao kuna maybe mambo ambayo yameshikilia familia kuna mambo ambayo umeshikilia biashara kuna mambo ambayo umeshikilia watoto wako na kuna vile watu wanatarajia ya kwamba unaenda kuangamia kwa sababu wanaweza ona kuna jambo ambalo ni la hatari ambalo limeshikilia watoto wako kuna jambo la hatari ambalo linaweza kuwa limeshikilia huduma limeshikilia mzee limeshikilia mama lakini halitaweza katika jina la Yesu tumejitolea kwa Mungu tumejipeana kwa Mungu tunakaa kwa Mungu hakuna jambo ambalo litaweza katika jina la Yesu na kuna mambo mengine ambayo vile ambavyo tutafanya we are going to shook over our hand na mengine itaanguka katika jina la Yesu tunajopeana kwa Mungu kuna mambo ambayo itaanguka katika jina la Yesu hata asubuhi ya leo kwa sababu tumejipeana kwa Mungu kuna mambo ambayo inaenda kuanguka katika jina la Yesu kuna madeni ambayo inaenda kuanguka kuna shema ambayo inaenda kuanguka maybe kuna aibu ambayo ilikuwa imepangwa na watu walikuwa wameiona lakini kwa sababu ya kujitolea kwako na kujipeana kwako hautapata aibu sitapatwa na aibu nimejitolea kwa Bwana nimejipeana kwa Mungu nitasimama nitatangaza wema wa Bwana because this is a year of great manifestation yani watu wanaona kuna kuna jambo ambalo limekamata wewe limekamata watoto limekataa msichana wako limekamata kijana wako and then baadaye wanaanza kuongea alikuwa analinga ati amesoma sasa muone sasa yeye ndiye ambaye anauza bagi ah wote nikwambie kuvuta ama kuuza si kusema ameisha ah ah hilo ni jambo ambalo limejishikilia lakini halitaweza katika jina la Yesu nimekuja kutangaza na kutangazia watoto wetu ya kwamba hawatangamia katika shimo la kifo tumejitolea kama wazazi tutamtumikia Mungu tumejipeana kwa Mungu hakuna mambo ambayo itawamaliza katika jina la Yesu dedicate yourself unto the Lord People of God it is not in vain. And the Bible says devote yourself even in prayer. Jipeane kwa Mungu. Kuna mambo ambayo haitaweza kuguza wewe. Wewe ni live wire my friend. I say wewe ni live wire. Na kama uamini basi mimi najiamini mwenyewe. I know I'm a live wire. Hebu jaribu. Na kuna mambo ambayo imejaribu lakini haikuweza. I say haitaweza. I'm a live wire. Wewe ni live wire. Hakuna mambo ambayo itakuweza. Uko na the power. The power of God. It is flow in your life kwa sababu ya kujipeana kwako. Praise the Lord. Yaani unajipeana kwa Mungu. Unapata power. 
Mimi si waya tu hivi hivi. Unajua kuja waya hivi hivi. Hata waya mpaka imeguma. Eh? Hata ujui kama hii eh? Ah ah. Mimi si kama hiyo waya ambayo imeguma. Ah ah. Mimi ni mimi ni waya. Mimi ni waya God my friend. I have the air inapitisha moto. Praise the Lord. And I know and I know ya kwamba there is a power. Hallelujah. Tuko pamoja. Kuna mambo ambayo tunapokea wakati ambapo tunajipeana lakini kwa sababu ya wakati nitaeleza mambo mawili peke yake. Mambo mawili peke yake ambayo tunapokea wakati ambapo tunajipeana kwa Mungu. Jambo la kwanza ama kitu ya kwanza ndio ambao nimesema inaitwa power. Power. People of God unapojipeana wakati ambapo unajitoa kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu kwa sababu ya ufalme wakati ambapo unajitoa kwa sababu ya Mungu you receive power 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 is a capacity to do something power is a capacity to do something and i know all of us kuna kitu kuna jambo ambalo tunataka kufanya tunatamani kufanya lakini utafanya aje kama hauna nguvu maana ni nguvu peke yake ambayo itakuwezesha kufanya hilo jambo Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 It's about the power Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness people of god wakati ambapo tunajipeana kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu kuna power ambayo ni nguvu ya Mungu ambayo inatusaidia kuna mambo ambayo na kuna vitu ambazo tunapokea kuna utajiri kuna provision ambayo tunapokea katika maisha haya lakini si kwa sababu ya jambo lingine ni kwa sababu tumejitoa kwa Mungu and the power of God and the divine of God imetupatia vitu zote asubuhi ya leo nimekuja kuambia kwamba jitoe kwa Mungu na nguvu ya Mungu itakupatia vitu zote praise the lord you know all of us we want to be great men great women of God tunataka power hata kwenye mwimbaji mmoja aliba wibo akasema more power niongezee power lakini power it is very simple kuipata na kuipokea dedicate yourself unto the lord and you will receive power and so power itakusaidia kuweza kupata vitu zote ambazo ni za kiungu na pia power itakusaidia kuweza kutimiza mambo yote ambayo unataka ama umeitiwa ukiona mtu ambaye amefauru katika biashara najua kwamba kuna watu ambao umeona wamefauru katika biashara lakini hawa watu ningetaka uangalie vizuri kufauru kwao hawa ni watu ambao walijipeana katika biashara wamejitoa katika biashara na kwa sababu ya kujitoa katika biashara kuna nguvu ambayo walipokea walipokea nguvu ya biashara na hiyo nguvu ya biashara imewasaidia imeweza kuwainua na kufika pahali ambapo wamefika kiona watu ambao what maybe wale ambao ni wasoka ama ama soka dio kadada ama niseme soka na kadada niseme oh na riadha tofauti okay 
Unaona kuna watu ambao wanajitoa katika mchezo wa, 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 wa soka ama kadada na wakati ambapo wanajitoa katika ule mchezo wanakuwa watu ambao ni wenye nguvu na wanaenda mbali na wanajulikana zaidi hawakai tu hivi hivi my friend ni kujitoa walijitoa sasa wewe you want to be greater wataka kwenda mbali lakini ni siku gani ambayo ulijitoa kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu lazima ujitoe hawa watu my friend waligalimika walijitoa usiku na mchana kwa sababu ya kazi fulani kwa sababu ya jambo fulani nao baadaye wakaweza kufauru let me help you today wote ambao wamefauru na wale ambao watafauru ni kwa sababu walijitoa ni kwa sababu walijipeana angalia mtu ambaye ako chini utaona mtu ambaye hawajawaji peana i pray from today ya kwamba utajipeana katika jina la Yesu unaenda kujipeana kwa kazi ya Mungu katika jina la Yesu kama ni mwana biashara pia jipeane jipeane hawezi kuwa te you want to be great business man and a great business woman na unakaa tu kwa nyumba tu ni kulala tu. Ah ah, haiwezekani. Jitoe. Chukua vitabu za biashara usome. Ijuzi <laughs> nimeshangaa. Si kama ni Photoshop ama ni nini. Niona mzee, mama mzee tu. Mama mzee. Kiona hata huku kumeanza kupaka nywele. So akona akona kitabu the how to be how to be rich. Mzee umeaka na itivai sasa how to believe my friend umechelewa kiasi umechelewa sasa wakati umezeeka unaelekea pale kwenye kaburi ndio ambao unaanza kujipeana ili uweze kupokea utajiri haiwezekani ulikuwa wapi wakati ambapo ulikuwa kijana kulikuwa na vitabu ambavyo ukijitoa ukijipeana commit yourself dedicate yourself usome utajirike Unapata ati mzee ndiye anataka kuingia shule. Sasa wewe ulikuwa wapi? Ama ulisikia wapi? <laughs> so what am I saying? Who ndio wakati wa kujipeana? Jipeane kwa kazi ya Mungu. Najua hata watu wengine wanagojea. Paka ile siku wamegojeka. Eh? Hiyo ni sababu nidie pasa. Nidie pasa. Mimi kuanzia siku ya leo nimeokoka nitamtumikia Mungu maisha yako yangu yote alafu jioni anaenda sasa sasa <laughs> ulikuwa wapi wewe umepona mali umepona raha kijiji mzima umejulikana sasa wakati jambo limekukamata linakuangamiza unasema uitwe mchugaji ah huu ndio wakati wa kujipeana Jipeane kwa Mungu sasa hivi wakati ambapo uko na nguvu unaweza kuambia watu kwamba Yesu ni Bwana unaweza kutembelea watu wapatie chakula wapatie maji wapatie kwa Yesu ni Bwana jipeaneni kwa Mungu sasa hivi Rekabula nini Ah dio hiyo sasa Jipeaneni kwa Mungu There is a reward I say there is a reward ambayo tutapokea wakati ambapo tumejitoa kwa Mungu. Na unajua mambo zingine people of God. You know mambo zingine za dedication. Usicheze na dedication, kujitolea. Kujipenda kwa ajabu ni ni gharama. It is a sacrifice. Show me the Bible. Mtu ambaye aliweza kujipeana and there was no sacrifice what am i saying lazima kuwe na gharama inaweza kuwa ni gharama ya wakati ya kwamba unatumia wakati wako unakuwa na Mungu unasemezana you create a time unaweza acha watoto acha mke wako acha bwanako uende pahali that is a sacrifice wewe mtu ambaye amegalimika 
sacrifice lazima uwe lazima ugalimike if you are dedicated kwa jambo fulani kwa mtu fulani lazima ugalimike you know last year kwa wengi wanasema kwamba ilikuwa ni mwaka mgumu sana lakini si kwa wote lakini kuna jambo ambalo niligudua wale watu ambao wame dedicate maisha yao kwa familia zao my friend ni shangaa sana dedication will cause you to go an extra mile dedication isi mchezo so hapa chini i think hapo karibu na baba gina hapo chini walikuwa wameka boundary pale kwamba hawezi kuja pale mwingine lakini kuna watu ambao they are dedicated to their families lakini wamefungiwa waliweza kujitoa waliweza kugalimika walitafuta njia zingine na kule chini ili waende kana kama Nairobi ama sehemu zingine wapate kitu wapelekee wake zao ama watoto wao is a sacrifice people of god wakati ambapo umejitoa kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu itakugarimu uweze kujitoa there will be a sacrifice second corinthians chapter 7 verse 5 and king solomon offered a sacrifice of 22000 head of cattle 22 what 22000 head of cattle one cattle is how much sasa hii inaweza ngapi sasa hii fanya mahesabu ya haraka haraka sasa hii pesa moja kwetu nyumbani ni 120000 so 22000 times 120 okay and a hundred and twenty-two thousand sheep and goat buzi moja ni pesa ngapi kwetu buzi moja ni shilingi 1800 buzi mzuri so the king and all the people dedicated the temple of god king solomon ali ali garimika kupeana to dedicate the house of god people of god if you want to dedicate yourself ujipeane kwa mungu ujipeane kwa sababu ya huduma kwa sababu ya mission na mambo zingine there must be sacrifice inaweza kuwa ni ya wakati inaweza kuwa ni pesa zako lakini there must be a sacrifice watu wanataka kuenda mbele na kubarikiwa lakini unamuliza ni gharama gani ambayo umetoa ni gharama gani ambayo unataka kutoa hakuna basta mimi ni mimi tanikae tu hivi hivi tu mimi nangojea Mungu tu basi unanijua mimi saki mimi si mtu wa mambo mengi <laughs> basi mimi saki mambo na mambo kwa sababu mambo ya watu watu hata kama ni maombi pasi hata mimi niombe kwangu kwa nyumba kama vile ambavyo maandiko inasema kwanza nijifungie kwa nyumba na mambo yangu nipatie Mungu ndiye ambaye anajua shida zangu sacrifice 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 mtu ambaye anasema kwamba um this is a year of great manifestation lakini kuanzia mandi mpaka sandi nokuria tu ni kukula tu Yaani wewe hauwezi kuspea chakula kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo unatarajia Mungu afanye mwaka huu. Yaani mwezi kisha unaambia fundi ingo imenishika sana. Fungua fungua kiasi. Inanepe kido, inanepe kidogo. Ah, ni sawa tu. Nenepesha hizo ma, mavazi. Nenepesha hizo marinda na hizo maskati na hizo mabrausi. Yaani siku hizi mpaka wazee unapelekea fundi troza. Mwambia hii troza imeni kamata sana. Kwaza kwaza hapa chini. Papanua kidogo. 
sacrifice jipeane kwa Mungu unaweza kusema kwamba leo kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu leo zikuli chochote si kwa sababu sina hera ah ah niko na hera lakini i i dedicate myself to the law i want to hear from god that is a sacrifice weka chakula kidogo unajua nasikia sahihi hata watu wa wale watu wa kama wa katoliki huni mwezi wa kwa mwezi wa nini mwezi wa lenti eh mwezi wa lenti eh ama mwezi wa ashi ama mwezi wa muhu eh So juzi nika nilikwenda kufuata ufunuo kauza mmoja wa Katoliki na mwambia sasa mwezi na manishaji. Kwa kwamba huu ni mwezi wa kwenye nyima tu, kwenye nyima tu. Kwamba hatukuli nyama, mambo zingine. So sacrifice um um Luke chapter 2 and verse 22. Luke chapter 22 and verse 22 when the time of your purification according to the rule of Moses had been completed. Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer is the word and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord a pair of doves or two young pigeons people of god i want to encourage you today sacrifice ni wapi ambapo umejipeana umejipeana kwa biashara wakati mwingine naangalia sana kwa sababu pia ni katika hiyo area watu ambao wana biashara they sacrifice wakati wao wanaacha wake zao wanaenda mpaka china wiki nzima miezi mbili kuweza kujua zaidi mambo ambayo ni ya biashara what about you ni sacrifice gani ambayo umetoa kwa sababu ya huduma kwa sababu ya jambo ambalo umeweza kujipeana and number two we receive power and power ndio ambayo itakusaidia kwa mambo yote kupokea kufaulu power ndio ambayo itakuwezesha kufanya mambo yote ambayo Mungu amekusudia na pia kupokea vitu zote ambazo Mungu amekusudia upate. Jambo la pili ambalo unapata unapata kitu ambao inaitwa blood mark. Sio blood ya damu. Ah ah, ini ile ya kampuni B R A N D. Eh. Blood mark. When you dedicate to the work of God you will receive a mark you will receive a mark and Paul ameweza kusema kuhusu arama hii in the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 17 amplified bible hii inaitwa arama ya chapa wakati ambapo unajitoa unajipeana unakaa kwa Mungu kuna arama ya chapa ambayo unapokea Paul anasema Galatians chapter 6 and verse verse 17 verse 17 yes amplified bible 17 yes from now on let no person trouble me usiwe na mtu ambaye anacheza na mimi maana nichezea by making it necessary for me to vindicate my apostolic authority and the divine truth of my gospel <laughs> for i bear on my body the word the word the blood marks of the lord jesus the wounds scars and other outward evidence of persecution these testify to his ownership of me <laughs> praise the lord wakati ambapo my friend utajitolea kwa sababu ya kazi fulani acha tani acha mambo ya mungu sana 
wacha niingie nyingine ambayo ni ya kawaida ambayo tunajua wakati ambapo nitajitoa i dedicate kwa sababu ya mke wangu yani nagalimika nafanya kazi mpaka saa sita nikipika chapati nauza na uza mpaka juguu yani i dedicate myself because of my wife kuna kuna woods kuna scars ambazo nitapokea kuna vile watu wataanza kusema na wataniweka alama lakini zile alama zina vibitisha ya kwamba kwa kweli nimejitoa kwa sababu ya mke wangu people of god when you dedicate and to the lord umejitoa kwa sababu ya, ya kazi ya Mungu kuna arama ambayo utapokea ambayo ni arama ya kiungu na hii arama ya kiungu ndio ambayo itasema ya kwamba you belong to the lord are we together are we together naitwa brad mark na kampuni zote zinakuwa na brand mark yake either ni kwenye chupa either ni kwenye mashini and so ukizitumia unaweza ona na ujue kwamba hii imewekwa chapa ini ya ini ya Sony ini ya Philip brand mark yani pahali popote ambapo utaenda utakuwa na alama ya chapa Yaani watu wanakuona tu hivi. Umeingia pahali. Na mimi kulikuwa na gedhomo pale. And then baadaye umeingia. And then baadaye yule ambaye ilikuwa ni MC. Kama na yeye unakaa kama mtu wa prison worship. Hebu kuja. Ni arama ya chapa ndio ambayo ameona. Eh hey, people of God, tujitoe kwa kazi ya Mungu. Tuko na arama ya chapa ya kwamba we belong to the Lord. Haleluya. Hey, unajipeana kwa Mungu. Unawekwa chapa chap. Hata utoke hapa. Hata uwe de Rwanda. Lazima wagudue kwamba wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Lazima wagudue kwamba wewe ni asha. Huyu 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 ni asha. Kuna arama ya chapa my friend na kuna wengine ambao hawana chochote ngo hawana chochote ngo you know hey unje kuna chupa zingine ambazo hazina chapa chupa ambazo hazina chapa zinawekwa chochote inawekwa mafuta ya taa inawekwa dizeri inawezwa eco oil <laughs> yani chupa ama chochote ambacho hakina chapa kinaweza wekwa kitu chochote Osha hiyo weka mafuta ta Hakuna wewe osha hii wewe 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 nimekwambia weke usiweke Ah ni hatia kama kitu kimetolewa kimekuwa dedicated kinasema kwamba hiyo kitu hiyo chupa ni ya hiyo peke yake. Hii chupa inastahili Coca-Cola peke yake. Sio mambo ya softa hapa. Na si Pepsi. Na si Mirinda. <laughs> ni Mirinda ama ni Fidilinda? Eh? Inaitwaje? Mirinda ama Fidilinda? By the way, unajua hata watu ni hivyo hivyo tu. Watu ambao hawana chapa wanaweza pokea chochote. Firida ikikuja wanapokea. Wanaingia pale. Mimi mimi nashangaa na watu ambao wameokoka. Wanapokea chochote. Leo umepokea firida, keso ni pati. Wewe umeokoka. Beba kitu moja. Jerusalemu dio hiyo. Oh, unasikwenda. Oh, sijui nini. Kwani wewe kwani wewe uko wapi wewe? Ni chapangani ambao uko nayo. Unabeba nini? 
kwenye chapa yako ile arama ya chapa ambayo ulipata inasema nini kwa kwamba mimi ni wa Mungu nyimbo ambazo nitaimba ni za kumsifu Jehova ni za kupatia Jehova usifa na heshima Are we together? Hey, Usichanganye my friend. Yesu hataki mchanganyiko. Atelea uko na hii, kesho hii, hata watu wajuangi. Aha. Arama tuko nayo, tuko na arama ya chapa. That we belong to Christ. I belong to Christ. And so, mambo yote ambayo nafanya ina ina napatia Mungu sifa na heshima hata nikiwa kwenye gari, watu wanaweza kuangalia wajua kwamba na huyu anakaa mtu wa Mungu huyu huyu dada hata kucheza na yeye siwezi hata kumwambia nipe namba ya simu ni my friend hatari sasa naanzia wapi si anakaa tu akona alama ya chapa eh hey, hii ni live ha hey, hii ni live ha my friend hii siwezi guza lakini ukiona kwamba okolea wadhi ukiingia kwenye soko hadi paka chukura ah kwani we ni nini kwani ni kitu gani hiyo My friend, when in live wire. Lazima watu waone alama ya chapa. Haleluya. Ya kwamba hawawezi, wanaogopa. Kuna kitu ambayo inawaambia ya kwamba huyu ni wa Mungu. Yale mambo ambayo anafanya ni ya kumtukuza Mungu. I pray today ya kwamba tunapojitoa kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu utapokea chapa. Receive a brand mark today. Receive a brand mark today in the name of the Lord. Na kama kuna mtu ambaye amewekwa arama ya chapa ya kapuni zingine tunazingua kwa jina la Yesu kila arama kila arama ya chapa ya kishetani na ufalme wa giza ambao imewekwa tunangoa kwa jina la Yesu na tunaweka arama ya chapa ya ufalme wa Mungu katika jina la Yesu Haleluya Arama ya chapa tuko na arama ya chapa ya ufalme wake Mwenyezi Mungu we are alive wire people of god kuna mambo ambayo haitatuweza katika maisha yetu no because we are born again but kwa sababu tumejipeana kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu praise be to lord ya kwamba sisi tunafanya mambo yote kwa utukufu wake Mwenyezi Mungu praise be to god so i want to encourage you today ya kwamba tujitoe kwa kazi ya Mungu and the good god We bless you. I want to show you just one. In the Bible, mtu mmoja ambaye alijaribu kuguza. You know, either ni mtu kwa sababu tunaweza jitoa kwa Mungu na pia tunaweza dedicate things. Even when we dedicate things, what we do ni kwamba tunaachilia the power of God kwa hizo vitu. So hizo vitu wakati ambapo zinatumika wakati ambapo zinatumika zinatumika zikiwa na the power of god na wakati ambapo tumezidedicate kuna arama ya chapa ambayo tunaweka let me give you an example kama hii tukidedicate hii tunaipeana kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo ni ya Mungu tunaachilia the power of god i number two tunaweka arama ya chapa ya kwamba hii offering basket pahali popote ambapo itaenda itatumika kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu na watu watakuwa wakiweka sadaka na kama kuna mtu mwingine ambaye atatumia ajaribu kuiguza kwa nia nyingine he or she is touching a live wire do not touch the anointed one They are live wire my friend my friend you die you die i'm show you i want show you somebody then from there to marize daniel chapter 5 and verse 1 king belshaza now huyu mfalme alikuwa mtoto wa mfalme nebukadineza nebukadineza alikuwa mfalme babylon okay and so King Bereshaza gave a great banquet for a thousand of his noble and drank wine with them while Bereshaza was drinking his wine he gave orders 
to bring in the gold and silver goblets that Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem so that the king and his nobles, his wife, and his concubine might drink from them. In short, kuna vitu ambazo zilikuwa zimewekwa ama zilikuwa zimepeanwa zilikuwa zimetolewa kwa sababu ya ufalme zimtumikia Mungu na hizo vitu vikombe vitu zote zahani zilikuwa zime zilikuwa na the, the power of God na zilikuwa zimewekwa arama ya chapa kwa hizi ni za Mungu na basi Nebukadineza wakati ambapo the Israelite waliweza ku kupelekwa pale a, a Babylon aliweza kuchukua hizo vitu zote za madhabahu na akaziweka maana zilikuwa dedicated za Mungu lakini huyu kijana wa mfalme alikuwa na pati akaita wanawake wote wake wake wote akawaita wakawa pale wanasherekea and then baadaye kwa sababu ya sijui ni kitu gani ambayo ilimuingia akasema kwamba zile vikombe ambazo baba yangu alikuwa ameweka from Jerusalem nazitolewe naziletwe so wale ambao wafanye kazi wakatoa zote wakatoa zote na zilikuwa na the power of god na zilikuwa na alama ya chapa kama hizi ni za Mungu so mfalme ule kijana wa mfalme akapelekewa zote akasema weka weka pombe weka mililinda weka pepsi weka zo, weka zote so weka vitu zote and then baadaye wakaanza kushangilia wakaanza kufurahi wakaiba wakaiba okay let's continue so they brought in the gold goblet that had been taken from the temple of god in jerusalem and the king and his noble his wife and his concubine drank from them wakazitumia lakini wao hawakuwa wazitumie kwa sababu wao hawakuwa wa ufalme wake Mwenyezi Mungu. Look at this. As they drank the wine, they praised the God, their God, their God of gold and silver, of bronze, iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, orimwe. The finger of a human hand appeared and wrote on the plaster of the wall Yaani walipokuwa wakishangilia wakisema party after party 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 eh Yaani ha? 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 suddenly yule ambaye alikuwa ni mfalme akaona mkono umetokelezea na kuna maneno ambayo mkono unaandika The king watched the heart as it wrote ule king Belshazzar akaangalia mkono ukiandika His face turned pale and he was so frightened that his knee knocked together and his leg gave way. Yule ambaye ni King Belshazzar alipona yale maandiko ambayo imeandikwa pale uso ukabadilika. And then baadaye akaanza kutetemeka na pia miguu ikaanza kugongana. Ni kwa sababu yamesuka. Niko maka The king called out for the enchanters, astrologers and diviners to be brought and, and say to this wise man of Babylon, whoever lead this writing and tell me what it mean will be clothed in purple. Purple means wisdom, royalty, wealth and all those things, dignity. What what it mean will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around his neck. Yoyote ambaye atanieleza hii maandishi vile ambavyo inasema basi avalishwe mavazi ni inaitwaje hapo ni sema wati ama hii za barao ni za barao eh oh za barao okay then all the king wise men came in they could not read the writing or tell the king what is mean wani waganga wakaja wachawi wakaja lakini hawakuelewa chochote wakaangalia hii atuelewi unajua ni mambo mengine ufalme mwingine hawaelewi 
And so King Belshazzar became even more terrified. And his face grew more pale. His nobles were baffled. Yani, you know, mtu wa kisuka, hata uso unaisamanga tu. Uni mtu ambaye, ame maka kabisa. Eh, kama kuna kitu kama hiyo. The queen, hearing the voices of a king, and his nobles came into the banquet hall. Oh, king, live forever. She said, don't be aram. Don't look so pale. Hata ni kuambie, hawa watu ambao unatembea nao, hata wakati ambapo ni kubaya, wana kuambia kwa wana ni kuzuni, wachana nao. You know, wawo wa majitofu wa mwingine, so hawa na habari, so hawa na wake, waligudua tu, uyu, King Belshazzar, mambo si mazuri, kimi yo king, ah, don't worry, ah, live forever, nini yambo inakustua? There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy God in him. In the time of your father, he was found to have insight and intelligence and wisdom like that of the gods. King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father the king, I say, appointed him chief of the magician, enchanters, astrologers, and diviners. This man Daniel, whom the king called Bethshazaz, was found to have been a keen mind a knowledge understanding and also the ability to interpret dream, explain riddles and solve difficult problems. Call for Daniel and he will tell you what the light him. Itae. Niambie vile ni mandishi meani kwa kwa ukuta inasema. Mana ni me sijui ni kitu gani sikia mwili wote unatetemeka sijui. So Daniel was brought before the king and the king said to him are you Daniel one of the exiled my father the king brought from Judah I have heard that the spirit of the God is in you and that you have insight intelligence and outstanding wisdom the wise men and enchanters were brought before me to read this writing and tell me what it means but they could not explain it now I have heard that you are able to give interpretation and to solve difficult problems. If you can read this writing and tell me what it means, you will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around your neck. And you will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered the king, you may keep your gift for yourself and give your reward to someone else. Nevertheless, I will leave the writing for the king and tell him what it means. Uli Daniel, kubuka, usipote. Kuna mambo ambayo King Belshazzar alifanya. Aliguza vitu ambazo zimepeanwa kwa mungu. Akaweka vitu zingine. Akazitumia vibaya. Na baadai, alipokuwa akizitumia vibaya. Akaona maandishi ya meandikwa kwenye ukuta. Hageweza kusoma wachawi hawangeweza lakini Daniel akaja nitakuambia vile ambavyo maandishi hiyo inasema O king the most high god gave your father Nebuchadnezzar sovereignty and greatness and glory and splendor because of the high position he gave him all the people and the nation and men and every language dreaded and feared him those the king wanted to put to death, he put to death. Those he wanted to spare, he spared. Those he wanted to promote, he promoted. And those he wanted to humble, he humbled. But when hurt, when his heart became arrogant and handed with pride, he was deposed from his royal throne and tribe of his glory. He was driven away from people and given the mind of an animal. He lived with the wild donkeys and ate grass like cattle. And his body was drenched with the dew of heaven until he acknowledged that the most high God is sovereign over the kingdom of men and seed over them anyone he wishes. But you, but you, his son, O Belshazzar, have not humbled yourself. Though you knew all this. Yani ulijua kwamba hizi vitu zimewe kwa wakfu. Ulijua hizi vitu ni za Mungu. Zimepeanwa kwa kazi ya Mungu. 
Ziko na rama ya chapa. Ziko na the power of God. Is state. You have set yourself up against the law of heaven. You, look at this. You had the goblet from his temple brought to you. And you and your noble, your wife, and your combine, drank wine from them. Because it took me a vibaya. No, no, Atari. Vitu ambazo zimewekwa wakfu. Wacha nazo. Watu ambao wamewekwa wakfu. Wacha nao. Hata wakati ambapo utaenda mpate ya kiwa. Eh? Kanya maza tu. Jifanya hata ujaona. Fuga macho. Enda zako. Watu wa mungu wanaachi wa mungu. Are we together? Let me say that again. Watu wa mungu wanaachi wa mungu. Wacha mungu adili na wa? Yesi kazi yako. I will show you something here. You, 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 you praise the God of silver and gold or bronze, or, or bronze, iron, wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the God who holds in his hand your life and all your ways. Therefore, he sent the heart that wrote the inscription. This is the inscription that was written Mene, mene, tekel, passion. Are you together? Does that matter? I don't need my kid. Does that matter? Ile maandishi ambayo ilikuwa imeandikwa pale. Yule mtu ambaye aliandika, aliandika mene, mene, tekel, passion. Hangeweza kusoma, wachawi hawangeweza, lakini Daniel Man, you the wisdom of God. Okay. This is what this word means. Mene. God has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. Yani mungu amepima uongozi wako, kazi yako amefikisha mwisho. Anawe natumia vitu za madhabahu hivi hivi. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scale and found wanting. Mawekwa kwenye ratili. Perez, your kingdom is divided and given to the murders and passions. Then at Belshazzar command, Daniel was clothed in purple. A gold chain was praised around his neck. And he was proclaimed the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Are you together? That he died that day. Don't touch the anointed. Kiona watu wame jitoa kwa huduma, wacha anao. Kiona mtu wakiamua kwa da maombi, wacha anae. Kuna mtu anasikia kwa huduma, acha naye. Bwana, bwana sema mambo mingi. Uh-uh. You can stand on your feet in Jesus name. 